Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. The topic of this video is, CAN system. CAN, is an abbreviation for Controller Area Network, a system that controls communication between various control units. This video showcases the basic mechanism and operation of CAN, high noise resistance ability, and the evolution of CAN. First, let's take a look how communication was conducted in the system, before the introduction of CAN. The wheel's rotation sensor generates the wheel speed signal, and transmits it to the ABS, ESC control unit. The ABS, ESC control unit receives signals from four wheel speed sensors, and calculates the vehicle speed. The ABS, ESC control unit transmits this signal to the meter unit, for displaying it on the speedometer. The transmission control unit needs the signal to determine shifting gear. The power steering control unit also needs the signal for assist force control. For vehicle speed sensitive wipers and door lock control, the signal is also transmitted to the body control unit. The navigation unit also utilizes the vehicle speed signal to calculate the current vehicle position. Next, let's take a look at the engine coolant temperature signal. The engine coolant temperature is monitored by the engine control unit through the coolant temperature sensor. The signal is transmitted to the meter unit for display on the gauge. For cold start shifting control, the signal is also transmitted to the transmission control unit. For blow air temperature control, the air conditioning control unit also needs the signal. The signals are transmitted and received not only from sensors, but also between control units for coordinated control. When the transmission shifts gear, a torque reduction or blipping request signals are transmitted from the transmission control unit to the engine control unit. When ESC operates, a gear change prohibition signal is transmitted from the ABS ESC control unit to the transmission control unit. When traction control operates, a torque reduction request signal is transmitted from the ABS ESC control unit to the engine control unit. In this way, the system requires one dedicated wire for each signal, resulting in the need for hundreds of wires throughout the vehicle. This increases weight and cost, and makes troubleshooting challenging. To improve these issues, the CAN system was introduced starting from the 1990 Mercedes-Benz S-Class Type W140. In CAN, each control unit is connected by two wires, CAN high and CAN low. The message transmitted from control unit A is received by control units B to J. The message transmitted from control unit F is received by the remaining control units. In this way, each control unit shares information by transmitting and receiving messages. Let's take a look at the content of the message. The message is divided into nine sections. The SOF indicates the start of the message. The ID field represents the type of message. The RTR is used to distinguish between data frames and remote frames. A description of data frames and remote frames will follow. The control field represents the quantity of signals in the message. The data field contains signals such as vehicle speed and engine coolant temperature that are utilized for controlling the vehicle. The CRC field contains signals to confirm whether the receiving unit accurately received the message. When the receiving unit accurately receives the message, it writes data, 1, in the ACK field and responds the message. The EFO indicates the end of the message. When ITM is transmitted, the CAN line goes idle, allowing other control units to transmit the next message. Let's take a look at the simplified transmission and reception of messages. When the engine control unit transmits a message, all other control units receive it. The message includes information that indicates it is related to the engine operating status, and various signals such as engine rotation speed and engine coolant temperature are written into it. The meter unit that receives this message displays the meters based on these signals. The transmission control unit determines the shift timing based on these signals. As mentioned above, a message that is transmitted from a control unit to all other control units is referred to as a data frame. 
On the other hand, a message that requests information to a specific control unit is referred to as a remote frame. For example, when the engine control unit wants to know the currently shifted gear, the engine control unit transmits a remote frame message. This message includes a request for transmission status message. When the transmission control unit receives the message, it transmits the transmission status message as a data frame. CAN uses two communication lines, providing high resistance to noise. The animation above communicates digital signals using a single wire. The control unit returns 0 when the input signal voltage is below 2.5 volts, and returns 1 when it is 2.5 volts or above. If noise interferes with the signal, the control unit will lose accurate judgments, leading to malfunction. The animation below illustrates the operation of CAN. In CAN, communication is conducted using two wires, CAN high and CAN low. The control unit returns 0 when there is no voltage difference between the two wires, and returns 1 when a voltage difference is present. Because the two wires are closely routed, in the event of noise, both wires are equally affected, causing changes in voltage values. However, the voltage difference between the two wires remains unchanged, allowing the control unit to operate accurately. CAN, introduced in 1990, has continued to evolve since then, and in modern times, multiple communication standards have been adopted based on communication speeds. In components such as engine, drivetrain, brake, steering, where high communication speed is required, a high-speed CAN with a speed of 1 Mbps is employed. In controls such as air conditioning, power windows, wipers, which do not require high communication speed, a low-speed CAN with a speed of 125 kbps is employed. In recent years, CAN FD, capable of communication at an even higher speed of 5 Mbps than high-speed CAN, is also being utilized. For communication between switches, actuators, and control units where high communication speed is not necessary, a 20 kbps local interconnect network, LIN, is employed. For throttle, steering, and brake by wire control systems that require high speed control, flex ray with a speed of 10 Mbps is employed. Additionally, for multimedia control systems, most, with a speed of 24.8 Mbps is employed. Furthermore, in addition to OBD connectors, USB-C connector capable of handling large capacity data, and over-the-air, OTA, unit enabling wireless communication access, for control unit updates and reprogramming. With the increased access methods to in-vehicle communication circuits, measures to prevent unauthorized intrusions have been advanced. Currently, in order to address the proliferation of control units and inadequate data storage, as well as to achieve faster communication, the development of domain-oriented architectures, which integrate control for specific functions, is being advanced. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.